Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. Then Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another. Tightly. I know it can seem distant. Obsessed. But the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna? Well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I am eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Abel. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. The smell of burning roof thatch and heady turf fire. Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery Sutur himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Nothing out of me. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Euroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse.
Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. Oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. By ship or plane, you found me. Boy himself could now drink me. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna was drinking in the longhouse when the attack began. Others can attest to that. Hardly the behavior of someone expecting an attack. Birna used to be a smuggler. Hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Birna was packed for a long journey the night of the attack. You think she wanted to leave us? I think she was prepared to leave, that's certain. Leaf wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leaf has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leaf disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leaf told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Gallon puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape. And Gallen sees an important meaning. Gallon told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? A local said they saw someone running from the outskirts of the city to the river, just before the attack. Did they recognize the person? No. They couldn't be seen in the fog, but whoever it was... They knew something bad was coming. I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there is a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know. 
Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Well, you're not the regular Sunbeam I've come to know. Something weighing on you. I was wondering on a few things. It must ache to serve under someone you love so deeply, one who doesn't love you back. Some days the pain hits hard. I need to press my hand into my heart to keep it from digging through my chest. I found your things packed for a long journey. Were you planning to travel? If I had betrayed the city, I'd be gone now, wouldn't I? No, I stayed. I'm happier near Soma with a broken heart than far away with a heart still longing. I found a letter telling the Saxons not to attack a longship painted yellow. None of our longships are painted yellow, I don't think. What happened the night of the attack? The people were at peace. A beautiful night, fog and all. Then came the Saxons all around. And Soma roaring like a great bear. When she called a retreat, we ran for the longboats aiming to regroup in the swamps. It was an ambush, no more, no less. You are a smuggler. Some would say that's not a trustworthy past. And water is wet. What a surprise. I'm an opportunist. I see a chance, I take it. It's helped Soma so far. She knows what I am, what I was. But she trusts me. Who would better know the difference between a joke and the truth? Someone in the city let the Saxons through the Longhouse Tunnel. When the fighting started, where were you? Drinking with my warriors in the Longhouse. When the Saxons came, I fought. I couldn't have shown anyone the tunnel. Eyes were on me all day and night. You're back again, Sunbeam. I need to get going. These bags are fearless. Packed for a long journey. Eivor, you look like the wind has fled your sails. What's going on? I was wondering. You told me you often disagree with Soma's orders. I do. But I follow them. It's my duty to this clan. To my Yal's corner. A man's honor comes from his acts, not his wishes. You said your yellow paint was stolen before the attack. Aye. And yellow is not an easy pigment to mix, let alone acquire. I was furious it was stolen. I found your yellow paint barrel near the river. Did you? It was stolen from my workshop not long ago. I found it on the riverbank. It was empty. How did you feel when Guthrum named Soma the steward of Grand Bridge and not you? If being honorable were easy, we would have no evil men. It is something I... I wanted, sure. But I'm a man of honor, above all. I found this odd letter, telling Saxon forces not to attack any longship painted yellow. I never painted any longship yellow beyond a few small touches. It's expensive. I know of no such letter. How did the night of the attack play out from your view? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. Leaf. Someone showed the Saxons the Longhouse Tunnel. 
Where were you when the attack started? What were you doing? When the fighting started, I was in my workshop, decorating a sail for our allies in Grimsby. Without my yellow paint. By the time Soma gathered me to retreat, the city was under attack from within. I was nowhere near the tunnel. Nowhere. Eivor, this is a surprise. I was wondering... The visions you've had about you and Soma, how do you interpret them? A piercing question. I believe it means that Soma will lead me to greatness, however difficult. That she is linked to my destiny. Why were you at Death's door when Soma found you? I left my clan to pursue my vision. I don't remember much. The sacred plans addled my memory. But I was hungry for more visions. You may not understand, but Soma does. She knows the gods have a plan for me, and that following it is worth any risk. I found a letter to the Saxons from Wickmund. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. Strange. Only Leif would have the tools to alter the color of our longships. Something to ask him about. Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. You saw the end of it. Wolves almost took me. I'm trying to find who betrayed Soma to the Saxons. I could use your help. I wish I could help. The night of the attack, I was meditating on the shore far from prying eyes. I was alone that night. And until Saxons appeared, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I hope that's enough. This longship was ambushed by bandits. The survivors ran into the fog, pursued by half the party, while the other bandits looted it. <laughs> this carving references Galen in verse. This longship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? Feel free. Did you find enough clues around Grampridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? Galen had no alibi. No one can place his location on the night of the attack. He's an odd one, that man. But he is a man, not a toddler. He doesn't need a constant watch. I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? Leif told me he was working in a shipyard the night of the attack. The shipyard is exposed and far from the tunnel entrance. Not the ideal man to lead Saxons into the city. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must.
my family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Think you can swim with the best? They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma! Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Give me a hand over here! for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, a 
glad you'll get to see it. Crops will return with time, but fast. That will take longer to repair. <laughs> Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. I'd have done the same in your position. That is calming to hear. Which reminds me. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Yalskona. My deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? <laughs> I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Another one? You are certainly proficient as a token of my attitude. I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace. Good day. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridgeshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter, and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children. 
No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvi tells me you are merchants. Ah, oh, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for his immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. For now, no matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them. And you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, 
There is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Volka! God, Zepo, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day! And who is that fellow? Octavian. A strange man, I think you'll like him. You see there? Your hope. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Tell me more about Letterchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent.
This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf, a great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see? You have foretold my death. Your Javi will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Why struggle and fight? 
If we are but threads stretched between anchored points, without hope, life is a prison, not a gift. Life is the music that comes from playing those threads. That is what lifts our spirits and fills our hearts. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. The storm is brewing, not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of certain death. Who crushed the skull of Thrymur, king of the Jotnar? Who slew Geirad the Gargantuan with a flaming ball of... Yow, 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 yow. And it was all well done. But the past is settled. It is our future we must decide. <laughs> you don't decide it. I will hunt down these invaders to the ends of Asgard if I must. And leave our home. Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight. We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What's this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you! We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Freya, Queen of Asgard. Will you fight at my side? <coughs> I'm with you, Happy. Let the Bifrost shimmer with the blood of their dead. The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jutnar? Dragor, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. 
Come, Heavy. Tonight we drink and swive, but now's the hour we prove our might. My steel will shred their illusions. Invaders. Asgard will fall. Not while I stand. What's that? You've done us no favors either, Jotun. Wait, no. You're mistaken. I am no Jotun. <gasps> I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your song be the same? <sighs> Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. <laughs> What's your name, stranger? I am called the Builder, by most. She wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been... building things. Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we in Asgard might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Hywan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Yatna can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? And what do you want in exchange for this shield, other than your freedom? I must give that a thought, a very deep thought. It would not be a simple task, and I do have my reputation to consider. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. 
I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic. A source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt! I will go to the well. You must find this builder a clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence.